Let's begin. Hello, everybody. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome, y'all, for being here. We're going to have another class here on Zoom. As you may know, we have this. Um, we're going to start with a class number six today. So, welcome. It's nice to have you, and I hope all of you are ready. Okay, so thank you so much for joining this class. We're going to have, as I told you before, section three is the one we're working this week. Okay, so um, thank you so much for being here. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is... um. Intermediate English module numbers. Three, this is class number six, and we're gonna have so two, neither, and either. We're gonna have this uh, information, this content that we started working on this one yesterday. We're gonna get into uh, this content a little bit deeper so thank you so much for joining welcome let's begin we're gonna have this information about san francisco okay we're gonna have let me see um janesi hello janesi good good evening teacher welcome please do me a favor look at the picture what's in the picture uh, it's uh, the San Francisco Bridge. Oh, thank you. What is the name of the bridge? Uh, the, I don't know, uh, Golden Gate. Probably. That is correct. Thank you so much. Do me a favor, Janessi. Read the information that is in here. In okay. this. Please. Okay. Uh, San Francisco attracts more than 16 million visitors a year. There are many things to do in the city. From shopping at Fisherman's Wharf to walking over the Garden Bridge, while visitors come all, come all year this summer. It's the most popular time. It never gets extremely cold or hot in San Francisco, but it can be fairly cool much of the time. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, so here we have some information about San Francisco. We have this question. Have you heard of any other interesting places to visit in or around San Francisco? Do you know what is this city, San Francisco? Where is this city located? Mm -hmm. Anybody? In the United States. Exactly. Very good. That is correct. Right. So in the United States, have you ever heard of any other interesting places to visit in or around San Francisco? Uh-huh. Do you know by any chance another place over there? Any another in another interesting place that you can visit in San Francisco? No? Okay. What about here El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Tell me. What is one of the most interesting cities to visit here in El Salvador? Like you can say, oh, when somebody comes to El Salvador, like this is the city that you should visit. What is that one? Tell me, please. Uh, Claudia, go ahead. What is one of the most interesting cities to visit in here in El Salvador? Um, sushi Toto. Oh, Sushi Toto. Because it's a colonial oh. city. It has an interesting theater. 
Okay. Very some good. Uh, waterfalls oh. to um to make tourism activities and in the city uh, you you can visit the the church. Oh, that's good. And in the country, this is one of the most um, interesting city to visit. Oh, thank you so much. Sounds interesting, right? Very good. Thank you. Luis Alberto. Hello, Luis. Tell me. Hi, how are you? Um, what is one of the most interesting cities to visit here in El Salvador? In El Salvador? Mm -hmm. um, interesting, maybe is Carolina in the Oriental Zone oh. in El Salvador and, uh, and maybe uh, in the mountains, uh, Huayua. Oh, Huayua. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, something interesting. Good. Perfect. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, so thank you so much for this one. Okay, about cities like Brother <laughs> Salvador. We're going to have one more time the video about the grammar part, the one that we saw yesterday. Just a quick review on this one so then we can practice. Let's listen and watch. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we walk you through the use of so, too, neither, either, and more examples. So, too, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of to is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. To. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So, auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. 
Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. Yesterday we were working on this one. Okay, so um, today's class, we're gonna work a little bit more on um, this one as well. So for that one, give me a number, uh, give me a letter, Janessi, from the alphabet, please. B. B Bravo or B Victor? Bravo. Okay, thank you. Give me a minute. Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Welcome. Good evening. Hello. <clears throat> Perdón, hello. Welcome. How are you, Blanca? Good. How are you? Oh. Ah, perdón. Vengo entrando ahorita. No sé oh, I'm sorry. Está. I'm sorry. Okay. I apologize. Uh, Janese, give me another letter. Okay. Because she's just joining. Okay. Uh, D. D. David. Oh, G. Oh, D. Tomato. G. Oh, G. Geometry. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Thank you so much. Give me a minute. Let me get. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, Gutierrez. Thank you. Jorge Mauricio. Hello, Jorge. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. It's nice to see you one more time, and it's nice to have you. Do me a favor. Do you see this information on the screen? Uh, all information. Yes. Do you see this? Yes, yes. Okay. Please explain us this information. Ready? Uh... Quiere que lea? No, you need to explain okay, us. Explique. Exactly. Everything from the beginning till the end. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Um, give me a minute. Uh, the premier, the first, first sentence is... Talking about um, that Italian food is very good, it is is so good. Uh, the, the second sentence uh, uh, talking about. Um, the, if, if you need help, solo diga un name y ahí va a ir, right? Okay. So you can request help from one of your classmates. Okay, Jorge? Sí. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Just say a name. We have a lot of people here. Just look at <laughs> from there and just say a name and that person will help you, okay? We're working with okay. so, two, neither, and either. Yesterday, we started this one, right? So, um, or do you want to continue with the explanation, Jorge? No, I don't know. It's a very difficult. For That's me. okay, no problem. So say say a name, please. Get a uh, name from the list over there and say it. Janessi. Oh, Janessi. That's very nice. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, Janessi, please. Es la Con... primera que tenía. <laughs> That's <laughs> very good, Jorge. Great job. Okay, Janessi. Continue, please. Thank you. Uh, you want me to explain? Yes. How do we use Gen so to neither and either? Um, we use so when, uh, I'm not completely sure when to use so, but we use agree when we are, um, in fact, agree with the, 
with the statement of someone is is saying and we use the disagree when we are not agree when with the statement. I don't know. That's yep, you're doing it right. Continue, please. Um. So I think is also when we are kind of kind of agree with the statement. <laughs> I don't know. Very good. Great job. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, give me another name, Genesi, please. Uh, a name? Yes. Okay. Um, Freddy? Oh, Freddy. Hello, Freddy. Good evening. <laughs> Continue, okay, please. Hello, Continue with Good the evening. explanation about this. Okay. Um, in this picture um, is about the they use different word adverbs and so to neither aid uh, I I can use uh, so uh, when when the sentence is uh, affirmative um, okay. when when the bear is a uh, ten, um we use uh, so can I when the verb is like in affirmative sentence uh, uh, we use uh, so do um, however um, the sentence uh, is negative and we use a native am I I think yes, very good, Freddy. Okay. okay, very good. Um, give me another name, Freddy, please. Um, come on, mm. <laughs> Anna Cristina. <laughs> Anna Cristina, thank you. <laughs> Welcome, Anna Cristina. Good evening. Nice to have you, please. Anna. Welcome, teacher. Thank you. Tell us, um, what do you um, understand from this thing? Um, continue and disagree. And disagree, sería. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, basically, okay. tell me, what do you understand about this? Okay. Um, can we, uh, uh, it's not not a quarrel, no estoy acuerdo. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, really, I can't. Um, oh, I don't like it very much. Really, I am. Oh, I love it. Oh, I like it a lot. Very good. So these expressions are for, or these expressions are used when? The expression neg negative. Yes. When, when do you use these expressions, Anna? When you agree or when you disagree with somebody? It's the, I said, yeah, neither, neither. Yes, but I mean, these expressions here, these ones here from this list, you use them when you agree with somebody or when you disagree with somebody? You use these expressions when you? Yes, you use these expressions, Anna, you use these expressions when you? When you, when you disagree with somebody, okay? Yes. If you disagree with somebody, depending on the things that this person is telling you, you can use this expression, right? For example, is here, the expressions are like affirmative statements. So that means the disagreement expression should be in negative. Yes. And if somebody is telling you a negative thing about something or like whatever, 
the the expression that shows disagreement should be with affirmative expressions okay yes also as your classmates were okay. talking about when we have affirmative sentence we use so and also to yes when the statements are affirmative and when the statements are negative we use neither and also either yes to agree with this person right however if we want to show like disagreement we need to work with the opposite okay anna yes okay teacher. thank you so much claudia tell me please what do you understand from this information um we use so to neither and neither to express agreement and disagreement. And so and to is usually used to, to express that I, that I am agree with the opinion of the, or the, yes, with the opinion with other other personal people and uh, I have to use neither or either when I when I not agree with the opinion I guess oh just in the last part just in the last part all of these expressions <clears throat> all of these ones are related to this thing okay to show agreement ah. all of them okay all of them are to show agreement okay oh, yeah. all of them to show agreement exactly okay. exactly very good now if you have a, a positive sentence you can say so and also oh. too if you have a positive statement if you have a negative expression about something Again, you show agreement saying neither or either. Don't forget the structure, the grammar structure here. Okay, so you can use them properly. All right. Okay. Um, yep. And also don't forget that when we have two here at the end, we need to have a comma here. A little comma that help us on this one when we write it. Pretty much this one is when we write it, right? When we say it, we just need to be careful. The one that we use the most, for example, in my case, I use so. So am I. So can I. So do I. Okay. And also, I use a lot with neither. Okay. Neither can I. Neither do I. So, but if you want to, you can use both of them. Yeah. You can, you can like, you can use the one that is easier for you. Always go with the ones that is easier for you when you communicate something, okay? Maria Vilma Cortez, do you have a question about this? Hello, Maria Vilma, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Welcome. Do you have a question about this? Mm, no, teacher. Okay, when do we use neither and either, Maria Vilma? When do we use neither and either? Uh, for me, in the structure, um, the positive, positive neither, and um, either uh, negative. Yes, that is correct. Well, see, so this expression is somehow positive, and this one is negative. By right? however, yes, the context, the context, Maria Vilma comes from here. Yes, the context comes from here. Yeah, from here. So if you hear a negative expression about something, you need to use neither, or if you want to, you can use either. Okay. Okay. Very good. Edith, Carolina, tell me, when do we use so and also to, Edith? Mm, 
<clears throat> okay. You said so on positive. Or, or doing this affirmation words. Okay, like when the information is positive, like this one. I am crazy about mm -hmm. Italian food. Yes. Okay. In the in this in this case, on the uh onwards. Yes, on this onwards. Uh, this is a uh, so so I I might am am I am I <laughs> or or I am comma two. Oh yes, because it's the positive of the um, the oración. <laughs> the sentence, right? The sentence. Okay. The sentence. Oh, it, it is. Can I use neither am I with this example? I am crazy about Italian food. Can I say neither am I or I am not either? Can I do that? Can I say that? Um in the case if the expression is positive, you onwards neither I am. Or this my anger is negative. I am not either, either. Okay, okay, so one more time. Can I use neither am I with this example, with this one here? Can I use this expression or this one? Or not, or that is incorrect? Neither. So so if, 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 if somebody tells me, I am crazy about Italian food, it is correct to say neither am I, Edith? Yes, neither or my because it the positive the sentences. Okay. Thank you so much, Edith. Thank you okay. so much. What do you think about this one, Mirna? What do you think about this one? It says like I am crazy about Italian food. I, I am I can say neither am I. Is that correct? No. Why not? Tell me please. Um you say the negative question, not the negative sentence is the neither I am I am not um doing the um uh, doing for serious minions. You neither neither I am. Um am I further <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh -huh. it's, it's not my Opinion. Oh, yes, you are correct, Mirna. That is right. Okay, Edith, Edith, and everybody, please. Here, if you see the grammar structure here, when I have a positive, no puedo utilizar, neither am I, I am not either. Okay, based on this grammar that I have here, I'm not allowed. Okay, so that means. For positive statements, I need to use these ones, okay? So you see, when the sentences are positive, yes, I can use this one to show agreement. But if the sentences are negative, I need to use this one. What is the meaning of this thing, okay? Que si alguien me dice, I am not in the mood for Indian food, no le puedo contestar con un, so am I, I am too. Yes? No, I need to use neither am I okay. or I am not either. Based on this Entonces, grammar. Si me hacen una pregunta y esta es negativa, ahí es cuando uso neither or, or either. Yeah, si le hacen un comentario, right? Is there is a, like, a, I don't know, a comment or is there is an expression that is negative about something? There you need to use neither okay. or either. Yes. Okay. And don't forget, when you show agreement, what do I need to do? Let me see. Jessica, are you here, Jessica? I oh, know, it's Jacqueline. I apologize. Jacqueline, Vanessa. Hello, Jacqueline. Welcome. Good evening. 
Good evening, coach. Tell me, if I want to show disagreement about something that somebody tells me, what do I need to do? Well, uh, you could say I'm not or really I can't and actually neither I am or I'm not either. Okay, so I mean to show this agreement? Yes, you, you said this agreement, right? Uh, yes. So, for example, if somebody tells me, oh, I like, I don't know, pupusas a lot. If I want to show disagreement with that person, what is the expression that I can say? Jacqueline? Neither am I. Oh, if I say that, I'm showing disagreement or I agree with this person? Disagreement. Oh, okay, well, sorry, what was that? Oh, okay, give me a minute, don't worry. So these expressions here are used when you show agreement, when you agree with this person, okay? So that means if somebody tells you, I don't like salty food, if you say this one, you show agreement, yes? So you agree with this person, yeah? Jacqueline? Okay, uh, because I got confused because my mind assumed that ne neither is like tampoco. Exactly, so you agree with this person, yeah? Because this one is, no me gusta el salty food, right? Yeah, I don't like it. Tampoco a mí, right? Yes, so you show agreement. But I'm talking about to show disagreement with that person. You know what I mean? This one here, disagreement, yes? So what do we do when we want to show disagreement with somebody about an expression about something? Mm -hmm. So it will be like, I'm not either, or I'm not, or I can't. Oh, what happened if, if you say that, if you say that, you show disagreement. Okay, you're talking about these expressions or these expressions? Number one, expressions one or expressions number two? Expression number two. Oh yes, that is correct, very good, right? So basically, when you want to show disagreement with somebody, the, the key is to say the opposite. That is the key. Okay, if you want to disagree with somebody, say the opposite. Do you understand, Ana Cristina? If you want to disagree with somebody, say the opposite. Do you do you understand that, <clears throat> Ana? Yes, teacher. Yes, Very teacher. good. Okay, uh, so. Um, um, in the question, can um, agree or disagree? Yes. Um, um, si, si es um, agree, mm -hmm. diré neither am I. Si es disagree, um, I can aid either. Oh, yeah. no, I'm sorry. Tomando en cuenta, sí. I can stand fast food. I huh. can stand fast food. Yes. Um, uh, agree, uh, neither can. Uh, disagree, I can't either. No, los dos son para lo mismo. Los dos son para <laughs> agree. Y en todo caso, eh, ¿qué significan ambos? Neither can I, and I can either. Oh, what do you think? I can't, no soporto la comida, right? Uh, like, I don't know, rap, digamos, chatarra or rap, right? Oh, okay. 
¿Cómo le da pero, la traducción pero entre ahí no entiendo, ahí no entiendo por qué va a ser lo mismo. Si decimos que Neider es para positivo y Eider para negativo. Oh, no. Here lo que pasa es que la estructura, right? Esta me queda positive y esta me queda negative. Ok, al okay. final viene significando lo mismo, right? Puede ser a mí tampoco. Sí. Uh, José, go ahead. Sorry. Yes. Come on in, please. Tell us. Okay. Mm, well, in correct me if am I wrong, but neither and either are the same for agreement. And you can say neither am I or am I I'm not either to be disagreement with with the with the agreement. I'm sorry. Sorry. That and is correct. If you are disagree, you can answer really. I am. In exactly. if, if the uh, sentence is negative, I'm not in the mood for Indian food. You can be agree, neither am I. I'm not either. Or if you disagree, you use really, I am. Perfect. That is correct. You got it. Yep. Very good. So the question here is like, Los dos significan lo mismo, right? So am I, I am too. For example, I am crazy about Italian food. Yo también. Yo también. Okay? I can't stand fast food. No soporto la comida rápida, right? Es, no, no la tolero, right? Yo tampoco. Yo tampoco. Yes? Right. So uh, los dos means the same. Now, you, you have these two options, right? Si usted quiere, yo, usted puede decir, oh, neither can I or I can either. Solo, just be careful, porque con este ocupamos negative with either. Y con neither, pues va normalito, right? Yes, right? With here also, usted puede decir, so am I, I am too. Y al final está diciendo the same thing. Entonces, eh, neither... Y Aiden puede ser lo mismo. Son lo mismo. Yeah. They Son are the mismo. same. Exactly. Mm -hmm. ¿Y qué yes. pasa con las. Eh, well, disagree words. Oh, they're very good, Jorge. And that's the thing that I was, I was telling you, right? Here, con el disagreement es easy. ¿Por qué usted solo dice lo le lleva a la contraria, right? It's like, it's like when you want to fight with your girlfriend or with your husband or with your wife, le lleva a la contraria, right? So, so here, for example, this is, I'm crazy about Italian food. Oh, I'm not. Sí, solo lleva a la contraria, right? Here, dice, I can't stand fast food, right? No soporto. Vengo yo le digo, I'm sorry, I love it, Okay. Yes, entonces, if you want to show disagreement with somebody about something, you say the opposite. Okay? You disagree. Okay. And in this case, um, ambos es but, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cuál es ambos? Aquí, here? Uh, ambos, tanto como agree y disagree, son válidas. What, what do you mean by that? I'm sorry. Vaya. Eh, <coughs> con las oraciones que tenemos uh, aquí, como por ejemplo, el so am I y el I am too y el oh am not pueden ser respuestas válidas. Exactly, right? Ahí depende de su answer. You know what I mean? Con la opinion about this one, right? Uh -huh. it, it depends. Si usted quiere show agreement, yes, for example, si alguien le dice, I'm crazy about pupusas, right? I love them. Si usted está de acuerdo, oh, Jesus, uh, so, so am I, right? Yes, ahí depende de su answer, right? En el context, en la vida real, pues ahí depende of you. For example, 
I'm crazy about Barcelona, somebody can say, right? You said the Real Madrid, Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not. Yes, right? So it depends on the reality that you are having about something. Alguien okay. le puede decir about politics, alguien le puede decir about food, about clothes, about movies, about music, whatever. But then at the end, it depends on you. Depende de su gusto, right? You can agree with somebody, you use this expression. Or if you disagree, you say the opposite. That is, that is, sorry, uh, me emocioné. I forgot the attendance. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I apologize. Let me take it, that one really quick. Uh, I'm sorry. Here we go. When you hear your name, say, please say, no, I'm here. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanqui Solina Guzman Cruz. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Briseida Janet Garcia Crespin. I think Briseida is here. And I think she wrote in the chat, right? Just let me check really quick. Oh, Briseida, are you here, Briseida? Yes, she's here. Welcome. Nice to have you. Uh, Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Cindy. Welcome. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Christian David Galicia Ramirez. Welcome, Christian. It's nice sure. to have you. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Resinos. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much and good evening. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present, teacher. Nice to have you, gentlemen. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Edith Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Elisa, I think Elisa is here. Well, let me check that one really quick. Yes, thank you, Elisa. Welcome. Good evening. Nice to have you. Uh, Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo, good evening. Iliana here, Mariel teacher. Alvarado Mengibar. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome. Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo, good evening. Present. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez, Present. good evening. Welcome. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. Good evening. Nice to have you. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Present. Teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Jose Mauricio Martinez Arabia. Present. Thank you so much for being here. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Hello, Jocelyn. Are you here? Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Good evening. Uh, Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present, teacher. Good evening. Gentlemen, nice to have you. Kevin Eduardo Flores Sanchez. Hello, Kevin. Are you here? Let me double check that one really quick. Oh, Kevin, he is in. Okay, here. Ma Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Hello, I'm here. Wonderful. Good evening. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening. Thank Mr. you so much, Maria. Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Milena de Los Angeles Agola Aragón Pleites. Hello, Milena. I think Milena is here, but she's like just listening in the class. Milena. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Okay. Mirna del Carmen Ruano Reyes. I'm here, teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Um, Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Good evening, gentlemen. Good Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Sandra is here, I guess, right? I think I saw her. Let me check that one. Yes, she's here. Thank you so much, Sandra. Good evening. Uh, Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Nice to have you. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. And Carlos, are you here, Carlos? Yes, he is here. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, okay, let's get back to the exercises where we're going to practice a little Teacher, bit. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Oh, Jesus, que me admiras. I'm sorry. <laughs> Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present. Teacher. I apologize. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? Yes. I got so excited about this one that I forgot. Okay, so I apologize. Okay. Oh, Jenny, thank you so much, Jenny. Welcome. Good evening. It's nice to have you. 
welcome. Okay, I think we got we got like clear about this one, right? Yes. Oh, let's talk about this one. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor, please. Uh, Tiffany, read this vocabulary. In bland, delicious, gracie, healthy, eh, rich, eh, salty, eh, spicy. Okay. Thank you so much for telling me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tell me, please, Janessi. Um, what kind of food do you have? What kind of food do yes. I have or do I Yeah, like, like in your food? daily basis, right? Let's say. Ah, uh, bland. Uh, delicious. <laughs> um, How do you say pat dulce in English, Janessi? How do you say pat dulce in English? Uh, no me acuerdo. Oh, Usted oh. lo ha dicho, pero se me olvida. Uh, bakery. Uh, no oh, sé. bakery is the place. Is the place. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. ah bueno. no, no uh, somebody help her, please. With, mm -hmm. with, how do you say pan dulce? It begins with P. Uh huh. Somebody help her. Oh, pastry. Pastry, Janice. We have pastry. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, so we have this kind of food. There are some things that I would like to mention, like something delicious. Do you think that is delicious but not nutritious? Remember that expression, right? When something is delicious, that means not nutritious for you. Okay. Like um, that happens. Unfortunately, delicious things are not nutritious. Most of them. Okay. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's begin with this one. Write the responses to show agreement with the statements. Okay. I am crazy about Italian food. How do we say agreement with this one? Anybody? Oh, I mean, I... Excuse me? Neither. Neither am I. Okay. So I am I. I'm not either. Oh, very, yeah, I mean, very good. Oh, give me a minute, I'm sorry. Not either, you told me? Yes, and also somebody told me, and neither am I. Yeah, both of them are correct, very good. Number two. I can, oh, Jesus Christ. So can I? So am I. So am I. Oh, so can okay. I? So can I? So can I? I can, can too. I. Okay. Oh, very good. There you go. I. Oh, I'm sorry. I. Can. And then two, right? Very good. What about number three? I think Indian food is delicious. I do too. Exactly. Very good. What is another way? So do I. So, so do I. I. Exactly. So do I. I can't stand greasy food. Ah, oh, look at this one. <laughs> Parcos, I can't stand greasy food. Neither am I. Oh, yes. Me neither. N neither I can't. Oh, 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 you get in? You need to switch that one? I can't either. I can't either. Oh, I can't. Uh, oh, I always okay. mix this one. I it can't. Because... Neither can I. Oh, yeah, that's it wonderful. can't before. E exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can't either or neither can I. Very good. Yes. I don't like salty food. Oh, that's another important thing, right? I don't like salty food. 
What is he? Neither do I. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have neither. Do I, you tell me, right? And? Mm, I don't either. I don't either. Very good. Beautiful. Very good. Yes. Very good. What about the other one? So am I. I? Oh, so am I. Very good. So am I. So you need to be careful. You need to check if the sentence is affirmative or if the expression is negative. So then you can use this one. Okay. okay. What is the other one? I am too. Oh, perfect. Too. Yes. So uh, look at this one, right? Maria Vilma. This is bien usted, right? It's a fija. Oh, mire la sentence, right? Aquí es negative. Voy a ocupar either or neither. Yes. Si la sentence is affirmative, voy a utilizar so and also to. Yes. And I, I'm sorry, I have double O here. There is a mistake. A mistake here. I'm sorry. Okay. Oopsie. Okay. A double, a double O. Forget about it. Okay. So this is the way we can identify. So, so you look at the expression, you hear the expression, right? And you can say, oh, so the expression is negative. I need to use neither, or I can say also either, right? Just either goes with negative, right? I don't either. I'm not either, depending on what I hear. Yes. And if the sentence is affirmative, like here, I can use this too, right? So am I. I am too. I'm tired of fast food. Mirna. So Hello, Mirna. Tell me. So am I. Uh huh. Which I one do I use, Mirna? So. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, ahí va. No tenga miedo de equivocarse, right? Don't worry. We will help you. So, uh, I'm not. So am I. Oh, beautiful. You see, you know this. Very good. And what is another option? I am too. Oh, very good. I am. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I am too. Very good. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Anna, number eight is for you, Anna. Number eight. I don't enjoy rich food. I don't enjoy rich food very much. Neither do I. Very good. Okay, there you go. Okay, Anna, very good. Neither do uh, I. Neither do I. Uh -huh. Very good. And what is another way? What is another way? I don't, I don't yeah. either. I don't, I, either. I, don't, I don't either. I don't either. Very good. Yay. There you I go. Do. I do. Very good. Okay. Neither do I. I don't either. Yes. So you need to look at the expression, right? If the expression is negative, I go with these two. Neither and also either. But if the expression is affirmative, right, Maria Vilma? Yes. What is here, Maria Vilma? Number nine. I always eat healthy food. Oh, that's a good one. Vegetables, right? Everybody loves vegetables, right? Yes. Salcochados, that's the way we call them. Delicious, right? Without salt. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> He's delicious. <laughs> okay. Aha, uh -huh, Maria Vilma, number nine. Okay. So, in, am I? Okie dokie. Yes, you got it. I love it. So do I. Very good. And what is another way? Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, nice and clear. I, I do another too. The... I am too. Uh -huh. Screen up. Another option can be, um, oh, really? I don't. Uh 
Oh, if you want to show this agreement. Yes. Oh, that is correct. If you want to show this agreement, that is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, don't, don't forget like the way you say, like, if you want to show this agreement, you would just say the opposite. Okay. Very good. Freddy, number 10 is for you, Freddy. Go ahead. Okay, good. Well, mm, I can't eat bland food. <laughs> that is a good mm. way. Neither um, can I. Oh, very good. Yes, very good. Neither yes. can I. And what is another way? Uh, I can ne neither. I can't either. Very good. Yay, people. You mm -hmm. get it. No, best the tema ya. You have it. Very good. And now, as Daniela was mentioning, right, if you want to disagree, Claudia, for example, in sentence number one, what is the expression that you can say if you want to disagree? If I, okay, I can say, really, I love it. Perfect. That is wonderful. That is correct, right? So you just say the opposite. You just say the opposite. Very good. Janessi, what about the number two? If you show this agreement, what is the expression that you can say? Um, oh, really? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, because no, the expression is, oh, really? I don't. <laughs> oh, that sounds like funny to me because it's like you are showing interest in and then i'm sorry i'm not okay <laughs> uh, oh jesus that was good okay very good that was very good luis number three luis if you want to disagree with this expression i think indian food is delicious what is the expression luis that you can say oh let me check if you can participate maybe okay. I cannot to eat that kind of food. One more time. I can't uh, to eat the, the, that kind of food. Yes, that that sounds good. Yes, it's I can't eat. I can't eat that kind of food. Yes. Yes, but um, my my suggestion is when you when you like try to give like a let's say. Um, an easy answer for you, right? So it says, I think Indian food is delicious. So you can use the simple present. What is the simple expression uh, that we use when we show something negative, Luis, in simple present? What is this short? Um, no, I'm not. Oh, oh the simple present with all the verbs. No, I'm not is with verb to be, but here I have Yes, I don't. I don't. Exactly, right? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. Because this, I think, Indian food is delicious. No, no I don't. Okay? You, you can use, like, a simple answer. The, the one that you, you mentioned at the beginning is correct, but I think, I think it's, it's a little bit, I don't know, alone. Because in real life, we just go with the simple things. Okay? Uh, very good. Mirna, number four. If you show this agreement, Mirna, what is the expression that you can say with number four? Mm. Mm. I don't know. If somebody say, I can't stand greasy food. What is the expression that you can say to show that you disagree with this one? Greasy. What, what, is, what is greasy? So greasy, greasy is like pupusas, uh, tacos, uh, tortas, <laughs> uh, sometimes quesadillas are greasy, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> delicious but not nutritious. Remember that one, okay? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, I can either. Oh, now if you want to show this agreement with the expression, I can stand greasy food. <clears throat> Anna, yes, uh, tell me. Teacher, teacher, eh, lo opuesto. I love it. Oh, I love yes. it. Exactly, Anna. That is correct. Mm -hmm. You okay. can say the opposite. You can say the opposite. I love it, right? 
Very good. Jose Mauricio, number five. I don't like salty food. Really? I do. I do Very love it. Very good. Exactly. Right. Just go with the simplest way that you can have to answer this one. Right. And again, uh, this is by, by practicing. Don't be afraid to make mistakes on this one. Okay. Just, just try it. And then if you have a question, uh, we will help you all together. It's raining, people. Uh, enjoy your night. Take care. And see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jacqueline, do you have a question? Could you send the information to the WhatsApp group? Oh, this one. Yes. Oh, sure. I will. I will. I will do it. Okay, okay. Good night. Bye-bye.